Okay.
with you, dude. Oh, buddy, they're an ambulance. I can't stand it. I'm an ambulance. I need an ambulance. I need an ambulance. I can't walk. My leg. I'm going to say blind. Oh, buddy, they're an ambulance. Good morning, sir. If you would, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Uh, Casey Gini. Last name is spelled G-I-N-I, -I, and I'm a lieutenant with the San Diego Police Department. Thank you, sir. We're down here in the San Diego River. Can you tell us what happened? Um, this morning at approximately 6.30 a.m., officers from the Fugitive Task Force and our neighborhood police policing division were searching for a suspect uh, who had a warrant, a parole warrant, um, was wanted for assaulting a bail bondsman with a firearm, and had a warrant for uh, violently resisting officers. Uh, he's a prolific suspect here in the riverbed, and we've had multiple incidents with him. Um, officers attempted to contact him. He led us on a very lengthy uh, foot pursuit through the riverbed. He's very familiar with the riverbed. Um, we were able to coordinate with officers from multiple divisions using um, K-9 and our ABLE unit to uh, get him locked into a perimeter and then eventually he was taken into custody um, with the use of a police dog beanbag shotgun and subsequently a taser. Um, while the police dog was attempting to take him into custody he stabbed the police dog multiple times in the head and that dog is currently at VCA Mission Valley. How bad is the pup? Um, unknown at this time just initially it didn't look um, bad as far as bleeding but we don't know internally what, what the injuries are. And he was being stabbed with a screwdriver. Yes. And so this man entered the water several times trying to escape, and the canine went in the water, and then you also had to beanbag him? Yes, he, uh, he uh, came out of the water, and the, the canine was deployed. He retreated into the water, and the canine followed him. While the, the, the canine was attempting to subdue him, he retrieved a screwdriver from his pocket and began stabbing the canine in the head. The handler recalled the canine. Because he was armed still with the screwdriver, beanbags were deployed to try to gain voluntary compliance. And then eventually, how did you catch him? Um, he began swimming up the riverbed, and we had officers on either side. At one point, he exited the riverbed and tried to flee. An officer deployed a taser, and that successfully contacted him and got the neuromuscular incapacitation uh, necessary to take him into custody. Now, we've been told that this isn't his first time in the water. One time for eight hours, second time for four hours. Um, I know of one uh, one other incident that we were we were um, on him for multiple hours, um, and I know that I know there have been other instances where he goes in the water and then refuses to come out. Now, in the beginning, you said he assaulted a bail bondsman with a firearm. Um, that's that's what the bail bonds reported that he slashed at him with a knife and then showed him a firearm. Okay, and this man's being taken to the hospital and then jail uh, because he was he was. Uh, Tasered and, and impacted with beanbag shotgun, he'll go he'll go to the hospital for jail clearance and then be transported to jail. 
Was any officers injured besides the K-9? Other than the K-9, no other officers were injured. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for your time. You betcha.